My name is Lee Mason. Um, I'm the owner of Community Association Management and uh, we are a management company uh, on the south side of Atlanta, although we do service uh, communities all over the uh, state of Georgia and also Alabama. We started in 2002. We had about five communities that we started with and since that time, uh, over 10 years later, uh, we have uh, 115 communities that we manage. This is my messy office right <laughs> now. <laughs> we basically uh, manage homeowners associations, provide the day-to-day -day operations of the associations. We're the agent for the board of directors. Um, I'm also a community association law attorney, and so I also help out with the litigation and the covenant enforcement issues that arise with respect to community associations. I've always been interested in real property law and uh, community association law and community association management was uh, a niche that I was able to find uh, combining both services with respect to management and legal collection services where uh, associations could find a company that could get both services for one set fee. And it, to try to be cost effective and um, save basically the associations of money uh, without having to have both uh, a law firm and a management company. So with the combined services and paying one set fee, um, the associations do end up in the long run uh, saving money. With the economy, a lot of the homeowner associations, uh, their budgets uh, sometimes don't allow for a full service management company. So. Uh, even though we cannot provide full services, we can provide the limited services that still allow the associations to receive professional community association management. This is my wife, Stephanie Mason. She's a professional community association manager. She's one of our managers here. When we started out, um, it was actually just me and my wife and a few other employees. Um, it's kind of a, a family business in the sense that uh, my wife and I pretty much work together all day. Uh, but also, we have grown to over 20 employees. And even though I'm not blood related to uh, the employees, we are more of, of a family. We're family oriented. Um, we basically all pretty much get along. It might be that since I'm the only male and all the rest are females, I'm not sure, but uh, it, it actually works. Uh, they work very hard each day to uh, help out the community associations and to make them better, uh, especially with respect to, you know, collections when, when the, you know, members don't voluntarily pay. Uh, we have to, on behalf of the association, uh, work very hard to collect those assessments in order to uh, help the association meet their expenses through their budget. And we're very happy to have all, all of our employees. They, they're a huge asset to our company and the growth of our company. We have been able to retain our clients uh, for, for a very long period of time. And I think because of the type of service that we do provide with the combined services, that's what makes us very marketable. Uh, we really push at home net, a very professional website oriented company. We have several managers here and um, so they're always using the websites. At home net makes everything so that it's very user friendly, very user friendly so that once you've actually gone through the steps at least one or two times, you know what to do. It, it becomes second nature. If there's uh, information that needs to be sent out uh, immediately uh, to the residents, then this is a very easy tool because all we have to do from our end, since we, we do uh, the administration of these websites once they're set up by At Home Net, um, we just plug it in, put in what it is that the board would like us to, to send out, uh, attach any attachments that, that need to be sent out, and with a few clicks of a button, everybody that's uh, in the email chain in the community receives that information. The efficiency of the websites, the affordability of the websites, and that's very important, again, because 
associations are uh, limited with their funds, especially the smaller associations. The board of directors, they can put the financials, the monthly financials, they can put the annual budget, they can put all the governing documents. Most of our associations that have hired us, even back in 2002, they are still with us. There are mandatory homeowner association covenants and restrictions and mandatory assessments. So homeowner associations, I don't think, are going away. They're actually going to just continue to grow, which means that we will have the opportunity to continue to uh, gain that business. Mm -hmm.